After you've pre-processed and set up a model for a single subject, you'll need to do the same steps for all of the subjects in your data set. This may seem tedious, but doable. An alternative, however, is to script your analysis. Just as an actor has a script which tells him what to say, where to stand, and where to move, so you can write a script that tells your computer how to analyze your data sets. This has the double benefit of automating your analyses and being able to analyze data sets of any size. The code for analyzing two subjects, or 200, is virtually identical. First, we will create a template that contains the code needed to analyze a single subject, and then we will use a for loop to automate that analysis for all of the subjects. In order to analyze our data with MR tricks, we will run four scripts. The first script will do all of the pre-processing. The second script will perform QA checks for each of the major pre-processing outputs. The third script will pre-process the structural images using Recon All. And the last script will create the connectome. Before going on, download the pre-processing scripts located in the link down below. You can download it by clicking Code Download Zip. Once you've unzipped it, go to that folder and copy all of these scripts into the BTC Preop folder. The first script begins with bash code, which creates a brief help manual if you don't supply the required number of arguments. If you use the VI editor to look at the file, the block of code at the beginning of the script looks like this. This is the help text that tells you what images to input in what order to use the script. The last fields here, marked by the numbers 1 through 7, preceded by a dollar sign, are the arguments that are passed to the script. You will need to input the arguments in the exact order that is listed. For example, if I use colon Q to exit this script in the VI editor, the command would look something like this. The first two arguments specify the primary and reverse phase encoded images. The next four arguments point to the BVEC and BVAL files for the primary and reverse phase encoded images, respectively. And the last argument is the anatomical image, right here. These arguments will populate the variables in the rest of the script, which is essentially a collation of all the commands that we used in the previous chapters. For example, if we open up the script again, you can see that the variable dollar sign ra underscore dwi will be replaced with the first argument that we supplied, which was in this case subcono3 sespreop ac apdwi. To generalize this to any number of subjects, we will put this code in a for loop. This can be found in the description down below. In this case, we will use the loop to analyze subjects 04 and 05. The loop will copy the scripts into each subject's DWI directory, navigate to the directory, and run the code that we just saw. The only difference is that we replace the subject name with a variable sub, which will be filled by whichever subject name is in the current loop. This will take some time, so I'll fade out here. When that has finished, we will use the same loop to run the QA checks. This allows you to check the output from all the steps. We won't go over all the QA checks again here, but see the link down below for a review on how to do this. Since the command tck to connect home requires the output from recon all, we will execute this in a separate loop. Again, this will take some time, so I'll fade out here until it is done. And lastly, we will use the same for loop to run the tck to connect home command. When all that is finished, you can open up MATLAB and use the code in the description box below to view the output. You should see the same connectomes that we saw in the last chapter, with slight differences between each subject. Now that you've learned how to automate the analysis for large numbers of subjects, we will do an analysis comparing groups of subjects. All that and more in the next video.